Hello everyone and welcome to my lightning talk on polygraphy and Onyx Graph Surgeon. So a little bit of background on me. I work on the TensorRT team at NVIDIA and Onyx is our primary import path. So as you can imagine, we've developed quite a bit of tooling for it over the years. And this talk will cover two of those tools. The first is Onyx Graph Surgeon, which is a Python library that lets you create and modify Onyx models. And the second is polygraphy, which does many different things. But for the purposes of this talk, I'll cover the Onyx related aspects of it. So we'll start with Onyx Graph Surgeon. And at the heart of it is a Python based intermediate representation for bipartite graphs that consist of nodes and tensors. And we'll see exactly what this means on the next slide. But you can essentially do any kind of modification on this intermediate representation using a simple Python API. And in addition to that, it provides some conveniences like constant folding, topo sorting, and dead layer removal. And I've linked the source code and examples on this slide. So here's a very small example of the IR. Uh, the basic idea here is that nodes produce and consume tensors. And so if you look in the center here, nodes have ops, names, and various different attributes. And tensors all have names, data types, and shapes. In addition to the fields shown above, inputs and outputs are also tracked. For tensors, inputs and outputs are the nodes which consume and produce them. And for nodes, there are the tensors which they take as inputs and outputs. So this makes graph traversal very easy as compared to something like Onyx helper APIs. And editing inputs and outputs lets you restructure the graph and reconnect things in the graph. And once again, everything shown here can be edited freely using the Python API or constructed from scratch manually. So in addition to the lower level APIs, there's also some higher level wrappers which make it easier to construct models. So here we'll see how to use the register API to add methods to the graph class. And they can be arbitrarily complex and they can access the graph via a self parameter. They're totally reusable, so you can stick them in a module or submodule and use them across your project. So here's a quick example of implementing leaky relu. And this is using the layer API to actually define the node and tensors. Uh, and we'll see how to use this on the next slide. Once we've registered one or more ops, we can use them directly from the graph instance. And this makes creating models almost as simple as uh, constructing TF graphs, for instance. So here we're constructing a, a graph with a particular input. And then we give that to leaky relu, which gives us an output tensor. And then we mark that as a graph output and finally export the model to Onyx. Next, we'll dive into polygraphy. Polygraphy is essentially a, a toolkit for debugging deep learning models. So it includes a Python API as well as various different command line tools. There's lots of functionality included, but for this talk, I'll focus just on the Onyx tooling. And I've linked the source code and examples on this slide. Before we get to the Onyx specific tools, I, I just wanted to mention Polygraphy Run quickly. So this is a tool that lets you run inference with various different backends like Onyx Runtime and TensorRT, and then compare results. So here's an example of running a model.onyx with an Onyx runtime backend. And since there's only one backend here, it's not actually doing the comparison. But as you can see, it, it still runs inference. Moving on to the Onyx specific tooling, we'll begin with inspect model, which can show us a text representation of Onyx models. And the display can be configured to show things like initializers, nodes, and attributes. So here's a small example. We're doing polygraphy inspect model. Uh, giving it model.onyx, and we've configured it to show layers, attributes, and weights. So as you can see, it tells us the name of the model, the, the onyx offset we're using, the inputs and outputs, and you can see at the bottom all the nodes. So this is a nice alternative to tools like Netron if you're uh, limited to the command line. Next, we'll cover tooling that can modify onyx models on the command line. So the surgeon sanitize subtool lets you simplify and fold constants in the model. This is a lot like Onyx Simplifier, but it has a few key improvements. So the first is that it can preserve dynamic shapes, whereas in Onyx Simplifier, you actually have to fix the shapes to use it. And even as it preserves dynamic shapes, it can still simplify shape computations where possible. It's highly fault tolerant due to partitioning. And it has special optimizations like removing conditionals, which are uh, known at build time, and removing casts, which do nothing. Here's a quick usage example. You do polygraphy surgeon sanitize. You give it the model, which is model.onyx in our case. You give it an output path, which we're using folded.onyx. And uh, finally, set the fold constants flag. Here's an example with an actual Onyx model. 
So this is a, a typical pattern that you might see in a PyTorch exported model. And although it looks complicated, all it's really doing is flattening the last three dimensions. You'll also notice that the leading dimension is dynamic, but the last three dimensions are all static. So this should be able to be done in a single reshape. And once we run it through Surgeon Sanitize, that's exactly what we would get. The dynamic dimension is still dynamic, but the entire shape subgraph is gone. Next up is Surgeon Extract, which lets you extract subgraphs from a model. And so this is super useful for debugging. You can use Inspect Model or Netron to figure out the input and output tensors that you're interested in. For inputs, you also need to provide the shapes and data types. And for outputs, you just need the data types. So this is the format that the tool takes for the inputs and outputs. It's tensor name, colon, shape, colon, data type. Uh, here's a quick example. And if you don't know the shapes or data types, you can use auto to indicate that these should be automatically determined by the tool. Let's do a quick example. So here's the model that we're interested in. And you can imagine that we want to extract the leaky ReLU from this model, maybe to debug it in isolation. Uh, we can see the names from the Netron view, which are identity out zero and leaky ReLU out one. We'll use those names and we'll, we'll fill the shapes and data types with auto so that polygraphy will decide them for us. So here's the command. We do polygraphy surgeon extract. We give it the input model, model.onyx. We tell it the output path, which is subgraph.onyx. And then we set the inputs, which are identity out zero, uh, auto auto for shapes and data types. We give it the outputs, leaky relu out one, and auto for data type. And this is what we end up with. We, we have a model with just the leaky relu, uh, which we can now uh, debug in isolation. Finally, we'll cover the model bisector. The tool is called debug reduce, and it's a lot like git bisect, but it works for Onyx models. The basic algorithm, assuming we start with some failing model.onyx, is as follows. Remove some number of nodes from the model and generate a new model. If the new model fails, we repeat that process. Uh, if the new model succeeds, then we add back some number of nodes and generate another new model. And then we check if that fails. And we keep doing this until we find the smallest failing model. So I'm using fail and pass here uh, very generally because bisection works for any type of failure. So anything where an Onyx model is involved, bisection can be useful. That can be things from Onyx runtime accuracy bugs to uh, issues with Netron display to even bugs in the model itself. So to better understand this, let's see it in action. So imagine we have the following Onyx model, uh, and this is giving us an error when we run it. So we can do polygraphy run model.onyx, and we see this uh, very big error message from Onyx runtime. Reducing the model to something smaller can make it a lot easier to debug. Of course, in this case, it's already pretty small to begin with, but for the sake of example. We'll start off with the interactive mode. So in this mode, debug reduce will generate models successively and then prompt us to report whether each one passes or fails. And we'll run each of these models manually using run and then report back what we see. The debug reduce command in this case is pretty simple. It's just polygraphy debug reduce the input model, which is model.onyx, and then the output path for the reduced model, which is reduced.onyx. Here's what it actually looks like in action. I have two terminals open here. So on the left side, I'm going to run polygraphy debug reduce. And on the right side, I'm going to check each intermediate model. So if it passes, I'll go back to the left terminal and enter P for pass. If it fails, I'll enter F and move on to the next iteration. So let's see it. So I've started debug reduce, run the model, it fails, so report failure, run the next model, report failure again, and then we're left with the final reduced model. And here's what it looks like. So we can pretty clearly see that the reshape is invalid since the volume of the input and output dimensions does not match. That was pretty easy, but we can actually make this process easier by doing it in an automated fashion. So instead of running the command manually ourselves, we simply tell debug reduce which command to run. So here's what that looks like. We do polygraphy debug reduce, give it the model.onyx, we give it the output model, which is reduce.onyx, and we give it the check command, which is exactly what we were doing manually before, uh, essentially running the intermediate model with onyx runtime. And the resulting model is exactly the same as what we got in interactive mode. And that concludes my talk. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at the email that I've posted on this slide. And uh, thanks everyone for attending.